I just want to demonstrate some different tips and tricks as far as using the safety lines. So um, some different ways we can talk about attaching and adjusting the safety lines. So most typically for adjusting the safety lines are hanging in this fashion with the carabiner hanging down um, and, the, and the ropeman here hanging in this position with the cam cleat facing down. And simply by sliding it up, it locks into place and you can just move it up. But to move down, you have to pull out on the orange webbing to slide it down, to adjust that down. Um, so that's one way we can do that and is a common way to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach her into the clips here, to this clips on each side of the shoulders here. And I can adjust that and take up slack by simply holding the ropeman and sliding it up as I pull the rope down through or holding the rope and sliding the ropeman up. And now we've taken up the slack. So that's one alternative. Another alternative is now I'm gonna lower these down so we've got slack in the rope, is I can simply grab the ends of the rope and pull up and through the ropemans like that. And that takes up the slack as well as another alternative. Um, we can also for certain patients and if you have difficulty reaching higher to adjust um, the ropeman, um, another alternative is to actually take the safety line, flip it the other way, and we'll attach this to the um, support uh, uh, shoulder strap. And now we can just pull straight down through and take up the slack that way. And then it self catches. And then to release it, I got to pull down on here to just pull the rope through and it just comes through. So then we just pull down and it catches. So that's another alternative by flipping both of those around. Um, one last thing about attaching these is another alternative attaching this to the two shoulder straps on each side, especially if you're doing real dynamic activities and you're concerned about this hitting the head or interfering with movement, is to take both of these and come to the central point here, this center um, triangular metal ring here. I'm gonna give a little bit of slack there so I can attach here, give a little more slack. And I can simply take up slack here. And now we've got these attached to the center ring. We've also got a rope pocket so we can take any extra rope here that might be flying around. But this allows more rotational movement um, and so forth um, without that uh, interfering with side to side movement. So.